man, it's still 104 today. The good news is the Bondo kicked in like two minutes. The bad news is the Bondo kicked in two minutes. If you're not fast enough, it goes off on you. Okay, so we have just this little bit. And it's really interesting to me um, when there's legs on a mannequin, unless you've ever made one, it looks like there's a lot of material on there, but there's really not that much material. It's like a ping pong sized ball of clay and make that leg right there. And again, you could even make it out of lit clay if you wanted to. And, you know put it on your backboard but um thing about that foam is just a little sturdier so when i do this it's just a i guess i'm gonna staple this pin it around make me a little bit of a leg here You could seal this too if you want, but am I gonna? Probably not. <laughs> I'm just gonna foam it. It's not that much. Much foam. Like I said, she and I are gonna have to go on a little on mission near Jeff's house. I think his foam needs liberated. I think it's being held captive against its will. said the good thing about it being hot it kicks fast the bad thing is it kicks fast obviously this leg's going to be the whole leg but we'll cut it to taste and then when I cut this plywood, I set my bandsaw at a little slight angle on the table, so it's got a little bit of bevel on it. So when uh, you can smooth this out a bunch of different ways, you can wipe more bondo on it. You can just take clay and smooth it, or you can take mache and blend it real nice. Just all depends what you want to do. But you always want to make sure you have a smooth transition that you don't have a, a straight edge of plywood to it, you know, on a short hair thing like this that it'd show. This could be one of them new fancy ones that has like this much leg on it, moving to nowhere with no hoofs on it. All right, well, my foam's still not quite there, but now basically all of us have if you use foam at all. This is why we like the coat cut, see? Because it's just wax like that. Now, of course, I don't need all this, you know. I just kind of free form it, you know.
coming back here and taking a look at it. Let's see where. So I'll probably, when I test fit the skin, then I might, like I said, I might take a little more off of this this way. But I'm not going to get too aggressive with it right now. Getting a new cape isn't an option, and these these animals didn't come in from uh, uh, these ones came from uh, Argentina, not uh, Texas. That's why you know it's almost like an African stuff when you get you know God knows the condition. <laughs> One red deer they cut the pedicle off. This hair right here that goes up around here is just gone. So that's going to be interesting to fix too, you know. But our job is to cover the yellow. So one way or another, it'll get mounted. Anyway, I hope this is a helpful tip. It's really not um, that hard to, to uh, do some of this stuff and. Uh, allows you to really a lot more flexibility in your mounts because we all tend to rely on that catalog like I say over and over again you know it's in the book we're lucky to have it but like Rudy Rudy can't order stuff he has to make almost everything he's got you know so if he you know I just took a straight wall form and made oops, sorry. two different things out of it and then I'm going to do one more I have uh, another two to do that are going to go together stack somehow on the wall one right and one left so i'm going to try to film that i don't even know how i'm going to make that one yet you know or how i'm going to offset the angles or anything but i might even stack one coming right off the other one you know do something trick like that but anyway hope that helps thanks for always watching my tips i really appreciate it i appreciate the comments messages and other questions i get too so we'll see you next time on Testus Tuesday Tips.